all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching this video this brother here who's talking about moving to romania listen i'm telling you average men average smart men are getting their passports and they are getting out of here so we're going to be watching uh, this video to see what his perspective is why he chose romania and just why he made this overall decision in the first place the second half of this video is we're going to go over to airbnb if you can look on your screen here we're going to go to airbnb and type in romania to see uh what their prices are looking like to see if it's good uh yeah so if you want to watch the full video it's going to be linked into the description or here's the brother's name right here down here so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into this thing let me minimize myself here and then boom let's go all right, y'all. So, big reveal. I will be moving to Romania in the next two weeks. Right? This is insane. I'm, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited to go to Romania. I think it's going to be an amazing experience. Um, I've been ready to leave the U.S. for a very long time. Right? I've, <laughs> Same. I've been ready to leave the U.S. for years now. I wanted to move to Thailand. I see all the YouTubers going out to Thailand. I consider myself a YouTuber now. All right. I'm a YouTuber. I'm not like this is really what I do. This is how I make money, obviously, with my my crypto business as well. I make some money with that when it comes to like auditing and things like that. But like primarily, I'm focused on YouTube as well, because digital marketing skills. Listen, if you are trying to make any type of money on the Internet, you need digital marketing skills. Now, I know some of you are like, oh, he's saying that because he's trying to sell me something. And half of me, of course, but the other half that just wants to give you free value there's no business model that you're going to find on the internet. Find me one. I dare you. You're not going to find one on the internet that doesn't incorporate digital marketing skills for its success. I'm trying to tell you guys, digital marketing is the foundation to making money on the internet. Start off with free material and then work your way up until you can get paid for material. But I'm telling you, if you're trying to live this type of lifestyle, make an income online, you need digital marketing skills. All right, let's get back into it. Is that fuels that? Um, so being a creator, I've realized I can go anywhere. I don't need to be in a physical location. A lot of my friends, they have physical businesses where they have to be in a specific location in the US. I'm privileged enough to where I can make money anywhere, right? I can go anywhere. I can build, I can create anywhere. So for me, it made sense to just get out and just go, go to, go to Romania. So you're probably asking like, why Romania, right? So for you guys that don't know, um, my girlfriend is from Romania, right? I did not see that coming. How many Romanians so, do you see? She's No. Um, so I'm, I'm just like, yo, this makes the most sense for me. I go down there. I don't nearly have to pay as much. If y'all don't know, I'm going to give you guys transparency. My, my monthly expenses in Utah for a one bedroom apartment is $2,500 a month. Damn. God. Now listen, this is a nice apartment. It ain't 2,500 nice. Dang. Dang. This is what I'm talking about. We, the last video you guys saw, you're getting a whole house under $600 a month with a pool, with a gym, with a theater room, with a sauna room for under $600 a month. And he's paying $2,500. Goodness gracious. My Lord. For just a one bedroom apartment. It's insane in Utah, right? Now it's a nice apartment. As you can see, there's, there's a lot. If I can, mm -hmm. yeah, you can see there's a lot going on here. But the reality is it doesn't need to be that much. It should not be that much money, right? I've been paying this for two all. years now. Now, on top of that, food is getting more expensive out here, right? Um, you look at just, you know, having a car. Um, everything is getting very expensive here. And also, on top of that, if you, look at the if you look at the economic climate, if you look at the political climate, things are going to start getting very crazy. So, for me, it's time for me to go. I've been having that same feeling as well. This is what I'm talking about, why it's super important that you, you make sure that you find like-minded individuals. Cause I've been feeling that way for a while. Like things are about to hit the fan and not in a good way. And the fact that he's saying that just affirms that my thoughts, the things that I'm feeling is true as well. I've known this for a while, but I just had to figure out where I wanted to go. And, you know, luckily, you know, I talked to my, my girlfriend about it. Romania just makes the most sense for both of us. Um, it's going to be a really good experience. I'm excited. Everyone, once I said it on Twitter, y'all should follow me on Twitter, by the way. It's literally just my first and last name, but Anyway, when I brought it up on Twitter, I think mad people kept saying, oh, you're going to do a collab with Tate. You're going to do a collab with Tate. You're going to maybe potentially I could care less if I don't like it, it'll be cool. I'd love to, you know, train with them, fight with them, whatever. But nah. I'm going to keep it honest with you guys. Uh, I stopped supporting Andrew Tate when he started dropping it and work. I don't I don't care if he's half. Black. I don't care anything about that. If my, my own personal friends don't even be dropping it. So it's like the fact that you feel very comfortable enough to say that to the world. It's like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's just a word. I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but that's, listen, that I don't respect that at all. Uh, so, yeah, that's just me, though. 
for me, it's really just the lifestyle down there. I like Europe. I've been to Europe like three times already and I love it. I absolutely love it. I went to Malta, I went to London and I went to Switzerland and I loved all three places. So really? for me, Europe is just like amazing. Um, cost of living in Romania is I, I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't do London. I can't. I've seen the food down there. Ugh. Ugh, I can never do it. it here, here's another thing, right? I love sunlight. So every London picture or video that I watch, it's always cloudy. I hate that. It really drains my energy. It messes my mood up. But hey, if, if you like it, I love it, you know? Literally nothing, um, compared, especially compared to out here. The average cost of living, I believe, is like $766 a month. Which mm -hmm. For a family of four, it's $2,500. So this apartment that I'm renting right now for a family of four, would be twenty five hundred dollars a month. So a family of four, I could I could fund a family of four with my rent right now in Romania. I'm telling you, why why I say this and I feel crazy. People look at me like I'm crazy. I'm I know this is not normal. This is not normal. He could feed a family of four in Rome. Okay, anyway, yeah, which is absolutely insane. So I'm excited, and obviously my YouTube is going to take a crazy direction. I think it's just going to blow my YouTube up even more. Like people are just going to be so hyped. Um, I'm obviously going to be vlogging a lot more. There's going to be a lot of new places to show. I'm in Utah right now. To be honest, there's not a ton to show unless it's snowboarding and skiing season. There's things to show. But like in terms of like outings and stuff like that, I don't necessarily vibe with it. I don't feel like I'm going to a new place all the time. But moving to this country is going to help me just revive in terms of like being just explored, exploratory, whatever. Is that the right word? I don't know. I'm just ready to be out. So for me, that's just kind of where I'm at with it. Um, my YouTubers are those, my content creators. To make money on YouTube, you have a, a RPM and a CPM. Essentially, it's like whatever your, I want to say your CPM, or whatever your CPM is, you get half of that. So if your CPM is uh, $20 per thousand views, you get 10,000 for, or sorry, you get, if your video is $20 per thousand views, you get $10 of that. So it's $10 per uh, thousand views. You get 50%. So in my YouTubers know that in countries where he's going, like Romania, Switzerland, those European countries, they have a, a much higher uh, CPM up there just because of their cost of living is a much higher. Now, apparently not where he's going, but like Switzerland and uh, Denmark and stuff like that, it's a lot higher. And so your CPM goes up like dramatically. So yeah, he's right. He could keep his same amount of views that he's getting and it's gonna damn near double his income. Um, I'm very much so ready to to live a new life, ready to enjoy life for what it is. Um, just just being being out here in, in the US, man, it's been it's been a very interesting time. I think I've gotten everything that I've needed to get in the US. I know a lot of people disagree. They're like, US is like the promised land. It's really not, to be honest with you. I have nothing bad to say about the US. I have nothing bad to say about the US, to be honest with you. Um, all I'm saying is for me, I've maxed it out to where how much I want to get out of the US. I'm good, right? Not even on some financial stuff. Like, I also realized a lot of people don't even get rich in the US. A lot of people get rich going overseas, right? So for me, it's not. It's, it's not. And and listen, when you when you start when you study or talk to rich people, they leave. They leave. They have second bases out in these other countries. They come here for business, and you, you want to live here. It's not anything to just leave and and still continue my operations, still continue videos, but in a better place, attracting a bigger audience, right? So it, it helps me overall. It helps me generate more revenue for my business. It helps me explore the world more. Because once you go to Europe, you can go to so many other different countries that are close by. It'll allow me to collab with a lot more YouTubers. My channel is at a point now where I need more collaborations. I need to be collaborating with people on a regular basis because that's what's going to drive the growth as well. Right. And it's also going to be exciting to just do that. So for me, that's where I'm at um, with everything. I'm just ready to, to, to figure out how I'm going to do this, you know, how life is going to be like. Um, you know, luckily, my, my girl's family's out there and, and they're super hospitable. Um, so I'll at least have people who know what to do around town and like what to do where to go everything like that so it's very exciting to say the least um that's that's my big reveal y'all so i have about 15 days i'm giving myself two weeks to move this is literally right after this puerto rico trip i came back i decided all right we out right so i'm giving myself 15 days i got a lot to do i got to figure out what i'm gonna do with this apartment i got three more months if you ever been to puerto rico the girls in puerto rico are insane absolutely gorgeous it's just a small country. I don't I don't like how tiny it is. And I don't like being on like an island, something that could be taken out by a giant wave. Not my style. I slept on this apartment. I might just I might just like sublease it if I want most things here, this couch I don't need. Thustra. Thus so highly recommend. 
Um, I really okay. like Michelle. I just not okay. It looks like he's kind of going off on a tangent there, but that everything that he was talking about, I feel that the same way. It's like things things are going on. The only bad critiques that I have again, it's it's his life. He he knows what's best for him. The only critiques that I would have is a lot of guys are moving to Thailand, right? Thailand is a very short term country. I, I think so. It depends on what you want out of life, right? If you're just a guy that goes over there and you want like a little long-term girlfriend, you want a family, you want to raise your family to them could be blue collar or white collar and then you guys live happily ever after, cool, great. If you're anything like me and you just kind of have like higher ambitions, like you want to um, do more for like the community, you know, influence the culture, influence like education and stuff like that, you have to be very careful about which countries you pick because there are a lot of countries that will welcome you with open arms until you decide to go for uh, power or respect. And I don't mean power in like a dictatorship way, just power is in your, you have things you can say can influence decisions. A lot of people get really weird when it comes to money, when it comes to respect, when it comes to uh, power. So you have to be very careful about that. I would study their history. I don't know about Romania. I've heard great things about Romania as far as how they treat darker skinned people. However, it's too close to Western Europe for me. And um, I'm not going to go into the racial politics of that. But still, I hear there's there's a good place. Um, but yeah, so let's. what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to Romania. You know, Romania. I feel like I spelled that wrong. Let's play for a month. One guess. Cool. Let's see what they're talking about. So one of the things that... Okay, not like these. What's the major city in Romania? Bucharest. Let's do Bucharest. One of the things that uh, a lot of people don't talk about. These prices look insane. I feel like my filters are off. Oh, okay, they're off. Entire home. Let's cap it at two thousand. Okay. 55 homes. I feel like there should be a lot more than this. Something's telling me this is off. Let me try it. Bucharest. Romania. Flexible. One month. One guest. Search. Let me get the filters. Let me do any type. I feel like there should be a lot more options than this when it comes to Airbnbs. Give me one second, guys. Because right. usually... Did I do ah that's what I did okay I knew it so uh, what I did was I just had the I had the house only instead of apartments and everything I knew something was off all right so let's go to center here and let's throw some of these I'm gonna cap it out really like a thousand because are you really saving any money all right one thousand let's see what this gets you okay. This is a studio. I like the lights in that. I didn't mean to click it. That's not bad. Okay, so let me tell you guys the trick that that you um that I want to tell you about. So look at all of these, because some of you guys may be like, man, these prices aren't that bad, even though they're they're really good. You know, they're studios. One of the things that you have to remember when it comes to these prices is Airbnb is a business. You understand? I, if you guys don't know anything about me, if you didn't watch my starting over from 28 video, I um, I used to rent cars to people, right? This is the same thing, but for apartments. So everything, every price that you see here, what you want to do is cut it in half. Because again, these are people who are renting out their own space. And of course, they want to make a profit. And so they're probably doubling up the rent if they're business savvy. So this apartment right here, they're charging $1,000 for it. I can guarantee you they don't pay more than four fifty for everything. That's the one thing that you have to do. If you want to get real prices of places, you have to get on Facebook and go to their marketplace and then switch the radius to their country. That way you can see how much they're charging and their currency. And when you do that, you get like half off. It's, it's insane what you can get. It's just the only difference is, um, of course, Airbnb is just a lot more, a lot easier to manage. And it usually comes with a fully furnished. But yeah, that that's one of the things. So, you know, book wrestling is okay, you know. There's a lot of studio apartments. I, I can't stand studios. Um, but I mean it looks okay. It looks pretty nice. Let's do a couple more here. I wonder if we moved out of the major cities. Ooh. A little little beach town vibes. What are they what are they charging out here? Okay, it looks like the strip is very popular. 
say 538 move myself out the way here that's a nice place it look it gives me very like old timey vibes and i'm not i'm not a fan of that but again everybody has different standards that's pretty dope it's a nice pool 958 dollars 800 700 so my range when i when i travel out the country it's usually like mm, minimum like 600 and then i'll say six to about 800 that's like the sweet spot for me if if i'm staying somewhere for like a month or so i'll increase it to like 1200 you know because i, I want to enjoy myself out there but if i'm doing what i'm doing right now which is transitioning to like more long-term stays you know six seven months or six seven months two or three months i'm looking at more um about this price range you know 700 is like my sweet spot so yeah 600 this is a studio so that's another thing when they take pictures like this looks fine it just looks gloomy i don't like look at this guy i don't like gloomy i don't like gloomy at all i'm at, I'm at a beach town and it's gloomy outside no thanks see that looks nice you know but it's still it doesn't i feel like this doesn't give me any it doesn't give me like life but again, that's just me. You know, some of y'all maybe you may you may like darkness or isolation or whatever <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so props to the brother. Y'all go y'all go follow his channel. What's his name? Martel. Uh yeah, if you go over his channel and watch his videos, let him know that I sent y'all. Maybe we'll do a collab or something. I'll reach out to him, see if we can do a collab. But yeah, uh, I wish him nothing but the best. I can't wait to see his development in two, three weeks when he's actually moved out to Romania, how he likes it. Uh yeah, because I definitely want to know more about it. So yeah. So, yeah, guys, I'm telling y'all, man, there are a lot of people who are realizing that, you know, this is BS. They're getting their digital marketing skills up and they're saying, OK, I'm I'm using I'm using those skills working overseas and, and I'm getting it done. So if you want to be one of those types of individuals, uh, there's going to be a link down in the description. One is going to be the course that you can take to get a, fun, uh, a fundamental skills of digital marketing so you can understand that. And then two, you could book a call with me to join my men's group if you have a problem being uh, consistent and disciplined in your business or whatever it is and you want to stay uh, consistent. So, yeah, so book that call with me down below or get the, the course. And uh, with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.